Hi all, I am Anjali from Infinite Solutions. In this video, we will see how we can manage the sales return and refund. Sales return usually involves the process of giving back or returning products that were previously bought by a customer. Sales return can occur for various reasons like a wrong product shipment due to defective or damaged products, quality concerns, and even if a product doesn't arrive within the promised delivery time frame. Some customers may choose to return it. So let's see how we can handle the sales return and refunds. So for that, we can go to the sales application and let's create a new quotation. Here we can choose a customer and uh, add a product. So here the customer is ordering for a large meeting table. And let's now save the quotation and uh, confirm the order. So once the order has been confirmed, we can see a delivery has been created. So by opening this delivery tab, we can just deliver the products to the customer. So in this delivery form, we can see the products that the customer has been ordered and the quantity demanded. So let's now set the quantities and uh, validate this delivery. So now the delivery has been done and we can just go back to the sale order and create an invoice for this. So here we can create invoice either by regular invoice or through down payment. So let's now choose a regular invoice and create the invoice. And we can confirm this invoice. So for making the payment, just click on the register payment button. And here we'll be able to choose the journal through which we can make the payment. So here I'm choosing bank and the create payment. So now the payment has been done and we can go back to the sale order. So from this sale order, we can see a delivery and invoice has already been created. So now the customer wants to return back the products due to some reasons like uh, wrong product delivered or damaged products has been delivered so for returning we can just open this delivery tab and here there is a return button so click on that here we will be able to see the product that we have delivered to the customer so here we only delivered the large meeting table of one quantity and uh, here we can choose the return location so after returning the products the products will be stored in this warehouse stock so we can click on return and set quantities and validate this return and when we go back to the sale order we can see two deliveries has been taken place the first one is we have delivered the product to the customer that is from our stock to the customer's location and the second one is the return of the products that is from customer to our inventory stock. So in the same way we can return back the amount to the customer. So for that we can go to the invoice. Click on add credit note. Here we can specify the reason for the return. And then click on the reverse button and uh, confirm this and we can just click on the register payment for paying back the money to the customer and choose the journal so now we have returned back the amount to the customer so when we go back to the sale order we can see this two deliveries and two invoice has been created so this is how we can manage the sales return and refunds. And that's all for this video. For more details, follow us on www.infinter.com. Thank you.